What if we told you that two computational neuroscientists have undertaken the largest study of human desire ever performed? This is the premise of A Billion Wicked Thoughts, a groundbreaking book by Oji Ogas and Sai Gadam. They've sifted through heaps of internet search data to unravel the enigmatic web of sexual relationships and desires. The findings? They're as fascinating as they are provocative, offering a fresh perspective on what stirs our deepest passions. Intrigued? Let's delve into the world of desires and fantasies. The first part of the book examines the science of desire. The authors Oji Ogas and Sai Gadam cleverly utilize a treasure trove of internet search data to unravel the intricate patterns of sexual desire. They reveal that these patterns, despite their vast complexity, can be distilled into a few fundamental principles. Their research illuminates stark differences between male and female sexual desires, proving that our cravings are not quite as random as they may seem. They delve deeper, breaking down these patterns into scientific terms and concepts, bridging the gap between our primal instincts and the modern world of digital footprints. In this digital age, our desires, it seems, are written in the stars and in our search bars. The authors brilliantly decode these cosmic and digital messages, demonstrating that our individual desires are, in fact, echoes of shared patterns across humanity. As it turns out, our desires are not as unique as we might think. The book then delves into the specific desires of men. Ogus and Gadam cleverly use their amassed data to shed light on what truly attracts men. Contrary to the popular belief that men are attracted to a narrow, stereotypical image of beauty, they found that men's desires are far more diverse. Men are drawn to a wide range of women with varying body types, ages, and personalities. They are also attracted to a spectrum of fantasies, from the conventional to the unconventional. These findings challenge the oversimplified notion that men's desires are predictable and homogeneous. Instead, they paint a picture of complex and individualistic desire, revealing that men's attractions are as varied as the men themselves. These findings underscore the fact that men are not just visual creatures, but also emotional and imaginative ones. So, men's desires are not as simple as they are often portrayed. Next, the book turns to the desires of women. The authors delve into an exploration of female attraction and its nuances, highlighting the pivotal role of context and emotion. Unlike the often oversimplified portrayals of women's desires, the reality is a symphony of intricate layers. Ogas and Gadam's findings suggest that a woman's attraction isn't solely attached to physical attributes. Instead, it's deeply interwoven with the emotional resonance and the context in which the attraction occurs. The allure of a partner, for instance, can be greatly heightened by their emotional intelligence, their ability to empathize, and the depth of their character. This challenges the common stereotype that women's desires are a shallow pool, merely influenced by a man's physical appearance or material wealth. In reality, it's a diverse ocean with varying currents, each woman's desires differing and evolving over time. It seems that women's desires are more complex and varied than society often acknowledges. The book concludes with a look at what these findings mean for our understanding of human sexuality. The authors, Oji Ogas and Sai Gadam, delve into the profound insights they've unearthed. They argue that our desires are not random or arbitrary, but are shaped by a complex interplay of biology and culture. On the one hand, our biological instincts drive us towards certain behaviors, certain attractions. It's the primal call of our genes, the age-old dance of survival and reproduction. But then there's culture, that ever-evolving tapestry of human thought and experience. Culture shapes our desires, molds them into forms that are unique to our time, our place, our society. According to Ogus and Gadam, it's this delicate balance between the primal and the cultured that defines our desires. They are neither wholly biological nor wholly cultural, but a fascinating blend of both. And understanding these patterns can do more than just satisfy our curiosity. It can help us better understand ourselves and each other. It can shed light on why we desire what we desire, why we are attracted to what we are attracted to. It can help us navigate the complex landscape of human relationships, of love and lust, of connection and rejection. So, A Billion Wicked Thoughts gives us a new lens to view human desire, a lens that is both scientific and deeply human.